Let's multiply and divide by integers. So the way I like to think about this is negative signs flip things. Multiplying by a negative flips across zero on the number line. So if you multiply by a negative sign once, you flip over to the left. And if you multiply by a negative sign again, you flip over to the right. Same with dividing. So long story short, we've got 2 times negative 8. So that's going to be one flip. It's going to be 16, but then we flip and we get negative 16. So 16, one flip, negative 16. You'll see what I mean. This won't be so bad. 14 divided by 7. Okay, no negatives, nothing to worry about. 14 divided by 7 is just 2. Negative 16 divided by 8. So again, division and multiplication have the same flippy thing. So if I have one negative, I flip from positive to negative. You know what 16 divided by 8 is. It's 2. And then there's one negative, so it's just negative 2. Hey, we've got a negative and a negative. That's great. That means we flip over and then we flip over again. So we're positive. So we can just pretend this is 30 divided by 10. We're happy about that. We know what that is. That's just 3. Okay, two flips. So we're positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. And we just take 5 and 8. We get 5 times 8 is 40. How about 2 times 7? 2 times 7 is just 14. You've known that for a while. Now you might ask, why would you multiply by a negative number? Well, suppose you, well, let's, let's not do this one. This is going to be confusing. So negative 2 times negative 2. That's one flip to the negative side and then another flip back to the positive side. So it's just 2 times 2, which is positive 4. Negative 7 divided by negative 7, again, two flips. That means they just both be plus. You get 7 divided by 7, which equals 1, positive 1. So what could this be? This could be you're, 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 you're part of a company and you lost $2 selling a certain product and you sold 20 of those products. How could you lose money selling a product? Maybe you bought a Kit Kat bar for $5, basket of Kit Kat bars for $5 pre-Halloween and they didn't get there in time. And then post-Halloween, people only wanted to buy them for $3 or something like that. So for every pack of Kit Kat bars, you lost $2. And how many dollars did you end up losing? Well, you did that 20 times. So 20 times negative 2 is like 40 with a negative sign. No, oh, sorry. This is a divide. This is a division. Sorry. So in this case, it would be just 20 divided by 2 with a negative sign. So this would be negative 10. So that Kit Kat bar thing was about multiplication. You can ignore that for this example. So one, one sign flip, 20 divided by 2, positive 10. One sign flip makes it negative 10. Okay, how about negative 10 divided by negative 2? So there are two flips, so it's just positive. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So you end up with 5. We have to see what's here. We have to sneak, take a sneak peek. Okay. Negative, positive is negative, so we just end up with negative 44. So that might be where you took a negative $11 loss on a product and you did that four times, so you lost $44 in all. Okay, I think you get the hang of it. I mean, look, this isn't any harder. These are just bigger numbers. I mean, so it is harder, but not... It's not much more complicated. You have to multiply 23 by 26. And that's going to be some big number, but you know it's going to be negative in the end, right? So now I'm deciding whether I should do it or not. I started. Okay, so 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. We have our 0 here. 
we have 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. We add that together and we get 8, 1, no, 8, 9, 5, 598. Okay, just check that. So 6 times 3 is 8, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 9, 5, and then we know the answer is negative, so it's negative 598. Okay guys, have a great day. Multiply some positive and negative numbers. Stay positive.